Today we're going to show you a little bit, not a little bit, all of our camera gear that we just bought for our upcoming RV trip. And believe it or not, packed in this little car, we've got a camera, a shoulder rig, a tripod, audio, and even a jib. Let's go set it up. Oof. Yeah, okay, so first thing, let's set up the jib tripod. There it is, level. We have two identical quick release plates here. So this one goes on here. Okay. Nope, back up. Nope. We release. This, this goes. Shoulder rig or shoelaces on the thing. And that just pops in here. Just pops right in. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. <laughs> now we put our camera on. Snap. All right. That probably looked more complicated than it was. How long did that take me to set up? 15 minutes? Probably 15 minutes. Uh, so let's start at the front, work our way back. No, start at the back, work our way front. Start with the big thing we're looking at here, the jib crane. This was a steal of a deal I found on eBay for 750 bucks. Why would we want a jib? <laughs> because you can get some smooth shots like this. That is legit. This yeah, all was seven hundred dollars. This is stolen from here at some coast. Yeah, I know that. So, I but it's not working. You see how loose it? I gotta buy a different one. It's not good enough. But this was all part of the thing. Oh, is this a? Oh. This is a viewfinder. We'll get to that when we get like to it. shoulder mount. Well, I'm not gonna watch a video, so. Well, <laughs> this is a shoulder mount or a viewfinder and monitor. Look at this. So we're filming in log, but this has the LUT that I use on DaVinci, so it shows what it's, your what it's final grade like. will look like. Yep. That's ridiculous. So we can just... I want to look through the eye hole. Let's, let's do that. that. So what you do... Hold on, we can take it off. Check this out. This is the whole point of this thing. We'll, we'll skip right to the fun part. You ready? <laughs> so, grab those two bags right there. Put them on here. Okay. Okay. There you go. Oh, gosh. Wait for it. I haven't figured this part out yet. Really. <laughs> okay. Please don't break it. This is gonna oh my gosh. And now we're shoulder rig. Oh my oh, gosh. No. Like so that. Cool. How that much is... did that rig cost, Mike? Just this, like the shoulder rig this and like shoulder all rig that stuff. This shoulder rig more than the camera. It <laughs> is $1,850. Oh my god. That doesn't include this monitor, oh, which is another $1,300. Oh my god. So. Does that make you nervous when I do that? Not really. Okay. That's nice. The idea is, you know, when we're on a workbench or something, Lauren, instead of having all this weight on her shoulder, can come in and pretend this is like a workbench. She can slowly pan across, things like that. And it just takes a lot of the weight off. You can focus and zoom really easily and everything is just silky smooth. So normally, you probably see people in the movies doing these cranes and jibs from that end. That's not how we're gonna use it. We're gonna use it here on the tripod end, just as weight and stabilization help. The viewfinder, which is necessary because we're gonna be shooting mostly outside. Uh, so we needed something that you could control the sunlight. But we also wanted a monitor because on the C100, which we got used on Craigslist, uh, it doesn't have a flip out screen, so you can't see what's going on. This is the small HD 502 monitor. This can be set up as a viewfinder or you press these little releases, open it up. And it's also a really, really, really nice monitor. So this actually has more pixels than the iPhone, believe it or not. So when we're shooting indoors or if there's not a ton of sunlight, this is a lot more comfortable just to watch a monitor. When you go into a real sunny spot, pop it in and now you have a viewfinder. The viewfinder side of this is okay. It's not really, really good. Uh, but the monitor is absolutely fantastic. Also on this Zacuto recoil rig, uh, I've got the grip relocator. So we can control everything for the camera right down here. 
This part alone is so stupid, $329. Zakudo, why? I mean, I get it, it's the most high quality stuff you can possibly buy, but it's just such a, it's, it's hard to see that money go out the window. I went with a cheaper small rig, second handle, because Zakudo's version of this is also $300, $400, so I wasn't gonna buy that again. For audio, we've got the Rode NGT2, uh, and what I've done is moved it down to the side with a shock mount. Normally the C100 has it up here, but I was having some issues with it picking up lens noise uh, because the shock mount on the C100 just was too sturdy. It wasn't like rubbery enough and it was actually picking up the clicks. Also, I like it because it moves that microphone back before it was like sticking all the way out here. And that's about it. So in everyday shooting, most of the time, I think we're gonna be on the jib. And because it's just so smooth and so easy to use, and you can just very easily go high, do really high shots, and come down low and do some like workshop bench height shots. Go from shoulder mount, tripod, back to shoulder mount. And it's so stupid, it's so expensive, but this is just so much more comfortable. I can't, I can't tell you. Really the game changer for us, I think is going to be this jib, uh, because we're trying to find the balance on YouTube between being really overproduced like TV and being handheld. Uh, I think people go to YouTube for the more handheld like personal look, or if they wanted TV, they would go to TV. So we're trying to find a balance. And I think the C100 and this jib will give us the handheld feel, but with just a little bit higher quality uh, and a little more options in post-production for making things look awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next week. Bye. This week's Patreon only video is just a 45 second clip that we made very quickly to show off our new camera gear. Uh, so it's not worth signing up for Patreon just for this, but if you want that and all our other videos on there, dollar a month, patreon.com slash Mike and Lauren.